Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing septic tank distances from houses and other obstacles such as rivers, streams, brooks, boreholes, wells, springs, etc. So let's get straight into this. So this is um, um, a diagram here that I've already kind of drawn out. That's a house, believe it or not. <laughs> that's a septic tank. That's a soakaway, and that's a little river, brook or stream there. On the left-hand side here, we've got some distances for septic tanks and soakaways away from properties and rivers, etc. Now these figures that I've got here that I'm gonna go through with you in a minute are from section H of the building regs. All right, so let's start with the first one, right? And these are really popular questions that I get asked all the time. How far should a septic tank be away from a house, okay? Or some kind of dwelling, all right? Well, building reg states that a proper, uh, septic tank needs to be at least seven meters from any building. So not just a house, but it could be a cow shed, could be a summer house, granny annex, whatever. Your neighbor's property, whatever. So it needs to be at least seven meters away, which roughly translates to about 21 feet away. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So that is it pretty much with septic tanks and distances from houses or dwelling places, etc., like that, you know, or buildings, any type of buildings, right? So now what about the soak away? Well, that's got a, a few more uh, rules and regulations attached to it. So how far does a soak away need to be from a building? Well, building reg states that the soak away needs to be at least 15 meters <clears throat> from any building, which is about 45 feet. So whether that's your building, your neighbor's building, an outbuilding, anything like that has to be 15 meters away. Now that, now, it doesn't really matter how far the soak away is from the septic tank or the septic tank is from the soak away. We're only talking, right, in this context of how far the septic tank and soak away are from any building, full stop, all right? So now, what about the distance of the soak away from a river, brook, stream, spring, well, or borehole? All right, well, building reg states that a soak away must be at least 10 meters from any river, stream, brook, or ditch. Full stop. Okay, now going off the map, you may have a spring, you may have a well, or you may have a borehole. So how far does a soak away need to be away from those things? Well, building reg states that the soak away needs to be at least 50 meters which is about 150 foot away from any spring, well, or borehole. Why? Why does the soak away have to be so far away from rivers and springs and boreholes? Well, basically it's pollution. So let me just tell you quickly how things work. All the poo and the wee and all the horrible nasty stuff goes into a septic tank, which we call effluent or wastewater, right? Now that effluent, raw sewage, right, goes from the septic tank into the soak away, right? So you've got loads of raw sewage in there. So the British government have deemed that once the raw effluent has soaked away through the soil, after it's traveled 10 meters through the soil, it's then been treated sufficiently that it doesn't pose a pollution risk to human beings or the countryside. So let me give you a quick example. Uh, a couple of hundred years ago in London, they had cholera outbreak where people were dying. So cholera is a disease that comes from raw sewage and thousands of people died and they eventually traced it back to the fact that raw sewage was contaminating the local springs and wells in London, all right? So <clears throat> that's the danger, right, of your raw sewage, right, being too close to springs, wells, boreholes, rivers and streams. Now, just going a little bit deeper on this, when you start dealing with 
springs, wells, boreholes, uh, wildlife protection zones. They are called, the government call them SPZ, that's a Z, not a two, Z1 areas. And that means source protection zone. So they've drawn up a map of the whole of the UK, which shows you where all these sensitive protection zones are of springs, wells, and boreholes. So you can go on this government map, type it in on Google, and then you put your postcode in. <clears throat> and so it will tell you how far away you are from any of these sources. Now, just coming down to these distances then, some of these distances are laws, some are guidelines, all right? So let me start with the important ones. The Secretary of State has one requirement re regarding soakaways, that they do not pollute the countryside. That requirement basically means it's a law, right? So just like if he says you can only go th that maximum speed limit's 30 miles an hour, you break that, we'll fine you. you. If you recklessly go over the speed limit, we'll imprison you. This 50 meter rule and 10 meter rule, they're laws, full stop. You break those rules and regulations, right? You get fined, you go to prison. There's no way around it. The distances of the soak, soak away in the septic tank from houses, properties, buildings are guidelines. They're not laws. And it's illegal for building control to enforce these guidelines. They can afford, enforce these laws, the environmental agency can, but building control officers cannot enforce the distances of a soak away in a septic tank from a building, the guidelines, because not one size fits all. So for example, many people live in a posted stamp size garden that may be only seven meters in square. So, you know, if your tank had to be seven meters away, you couldn't put your soak away in. So in some instances, you have to put your tank a meter from the house, half a meter, right, from the house, and you soak away three meters from the house, right? Otherwise you couldn't have a sewage system if you lived in the middle of nowhere. So these are just guidelines. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying do not follow Section H of the building regs because there's some very good principles in there, but that's all that they are, principles and guidelines, right? But if in doubt, control, con consult and call your local planning officer and talk to your local building control officer who will advise you more regarding the distances of septic tanks and soakaways from, from your buildings if you cannot manage to get the seven meter and 15 meters distance from the building. So there you go. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much for watching it. If you'd like more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You'll see loads more free videos there on various subjects to do with septic tanks and soakaways and sewage treatment plants. Or, or, right, you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. You'll see more of me. Uh, septic tank TV is my YouTube channel. Thousands of videos I've done to help people. If you subscribe, to my Septic Tank TV channel. You're in with the chance to win um, 500 pounds worth of septic tank and soak away worms and five years worth of bacteria. The soak, septic tank soak away worms clean out all the fat and the grease and the sludge in the septic tank and the soak away and the bacteria will stop your system from smelling and protect it from the chemicals that we use in modern living today to keep our households clean. So listen, thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.